You get in a mess. You try to fix it yourself. When that doesn't work, you call on God. Raise your hand if you've ever done that. Good. Those of you that are lying, God will help you with that too. <laughs> you get in a mess. You try to fix it yourself. You call on God. You know, how, you know why it's so easy for me to remember that? Let me just, let me share some constants with you. We're constantly challenged. Sometimes it's a mess we created. Sometimes it's a mess we didn't create. But when we try to fix it without God's help, you know, there are certain constants in life. One of the constants is it won't work as well without God as it will with God. I know that for sure. But why do I fail to remember that? Ask yourself that. But they did. Mess, tried to fix it, cried out to God. Now, after that, what you see leading up to the visit at the tree is, after that, there's a prophet that comes, and he says, this is what God says. This is what God says to you. God says this, I brought you up out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. I rescued you from the hand of the Egyptians. I delivered you from the hand of all your oppressors. I drove them out before you. I gave you this land, and I said to you, I am the Lord your God. Do not worship the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live. Well, I'd love to stop there. But the next phrase goes this way, but you have not listened to me. It's what God said. I won't have you raise your hand again, but are there times that you wake up and realize, I wish I would have listened to God? I wish if, again, sometimes we have messes that we didn't create, but a whole lot of the messes I found myself in, I contributed to the mess. A whole lot of the time when I find myself in a mess, I have contributed to the mess. And in those situations, guess what's true? I wasn't listening to God. I wasn't listening to God. I tried to fix it myself. I tried to, I tried to, to build my own shelter. I tried to hide my own food. I tried to take care of it myself. And I didn't listen to God. And the prophet comes along. After that introductory description in chapter 6, the prophet comes along and says, let me remind you who God is. God's the one that brought you out. God's the one that saved you. God's the one that has given you power to overcome in your life. God's the one who's helped you in the past. God's the one who's faithful. God, remember, and God said, don't worship anything other than me. Don't find your peace in anything other than me because it won't last. But you have not listened to me, so you're in a mess.